hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you already read the title you already know what I be, will be talking about um, before we get started my name is Nikki Nicoletta also known as Antarinova on Instagram so if you don't follow me please go ahead and do that so we can be social media friends I received this question from one of the girls I met in the gym the other day and I feel like it's a really good question this is why exactly I want to address it and make this video on it the question was what do you do after overeating for a day there are three things basically what I want to say first of all if you're prepping there is no room for such thing so if you're not following or you for some reason you feel like you cannot follow the plan that your coach gave you um, there are multiple reasons why it can happen maybe it's too restrictive too small or little amount of calories that your coach prescribed you and it's giving you the urge of like eating so your body is telling you that hey you need more calories which is not good you need to talk to your coach or you need to change your coach or it can happen because you're not dedicated enough and then you don't want that getting on stage um, hard enough or bad enough I would say so you kind of like don't give a shit about the whole thing and then you would just uh, go for the cookie or for the extra meal that you were not supposed to have so if it happens in competition prep you should stop competing or you should actually stop prepping so it, you don't have to stop competing for good but for some reason your body is telling you that you should not be prepping for that particular show or in that particular time of your life second one is it a binge eating episode if it is don't even try to lose weight in that moment you need to address the binge eating um, habits or the problem uh, with a specialist you feel like this is something that occurs more often than it should definitely talk to someone talk to a doctor talk to your coach if you have one and uh, be always open about your feelings how your day goes with your coach because us as coaches the easiest to work with a client if you're telling us everything that you feel that you think um, that you're going through so we can tailor your your um, program based on your lifestyle again if it's a binge eating episode that just happened and then you were just mindlessly eating that's not okay uh, it's not called overeating and again a disclaimer I'm not a doctor I'm not a specialist that you should talk to when it comes to binge eating I had some binge eating episodes in the past which are not occurring anymore so I can only speak from my own experience but again if it's something more serious uh, definitely talk to someone a specialist third if it's an actual overeating that just happened you went home you ate your home your mom mom you ate the food that your mom cooked which is a home cooked prepared meal great did you enjoy it great did you have good time with your family perfect did you went over your macros yes you did so what the next day you get back to your plan this is what I advise to my clients this is what I'm doing when I'm not prepping for a show we're not robots we're human like if you go out with your friends you go to visit your family go for it have a slice obviously you don't have to eat the whole pie but just have a slice and you move on with your life nothing will happen nobody ever gotten fat from eating one meal and nobody ever gotten skinny from eating one bowl of salad so now that this is out of the way uh, I would like to move on to the tips and tricks what I utilize when again I'm not on prep first um, there is this approach which I personally did in the past but I do not recommend it because it made me um, have this habit bad habit which was really hard to get rid of was basically I will just use random numbers for the sake of calculation and it's gonna be easy to calculate let's say one day you have to eat or the days you have to eat 2000 calories 
and one day you go out and then you track whatever the food was that you uh, overate you ended up eating 3000 calories that day so again that's 1000 calories more than what you were supposed to eat and uh, normally if we are just use the basic math you could deduct it from the following days of few following days again please do not take this advice it's not good because you're telling yourself that it's okay to have this overeating on multiple days because if it happens once it's okay like you move on the next day you get back to on your uh, plan and it's done but if you uh, constantly training yourself that it's okay to go over your plan and go over your macros because the next day or the following few days you can just deduct those calories now what your mind will think well i don't have to take it so seriously i can just go and eat whatever and then just do these calculations and at the end of the week it's pretty much the same calories that what i'm i was supposed to eat so it's more about um the harm to your mind than harm to your body and again if you choose to eat less the next day you might end up eating only 1000 calories the next day is that good i don't think so nobody should eat 1000 calories um in one day if you're training and then if you're trying to have a healthy lifestyle no big no second one that i wanted to say it's really what i already repeated so many times enjoy the food and live your life just move on the next day you wake up eat your regular macros, eat your regular food, meal plan, whatever you have. The third thing what I'm doing, which and it's been really healthy for me and uh, it's been working. Next day when I w wake up after having extra calories the previous night or previous day, it's pretty much skipping breakfast, but it's not intentionally skipping, but I wake up and I'm not that hungry. So I would just track my normal breakfast, what I would eat that day and uh, keep it in my fitness pal, that's the app what I'm using, keep it in my fitness pal and just I don't eat that meal and just go on with the rest of the day. Again, it's not something that uh, you should do often because if you have a goal, you should stick to the plan, but if it happens, life goes on. Just skip the first meal what you would normally eat and uh, continue on with your first snack or lunch usually I don't eat till 12 or 1 just because again my appetite is low uh, in the morning uh, or if I don't have work early in the morning then on the next day I would just go to the gym and actually feel really um, energized if you guys have any questions then you would like me to address either on YouTube, uh, in the vlog or on Instagram. I'm happy to answer all of them. So please don't be shy and go ahead and ask questions. Thank you very much for watching, spending some time with me and uh, enjoy the clip from the training session. Bye -bye.